this short video shows you how to find help in Excel 2019 as well as how to insert a header and footer also in Excel 2019. Now like other versions of Excel it does allow you to um, ask for help. Help in 2019 shows up here in the ribbon. There's a magnifying glass and it says tell me what you want to do. So for example if you wanted to insert a header or footer in the earlier versions of Excel you would click on insert and somewhere along the right hand side over here you would have header or footer but that doesn't exist in 2019 so one way to figure out how to do that would be to click in the help area and type in header and footer or anything else that you wanted help with now what this does is it takes you right to the header section it's going to guide you through inserting a header so now you can see that the spreadsheet looks a little bit different we have a section over here called header and right now we have a cursor flashing in the middle if we started typing something here let's say your first name and your last name that would appear as a header in the center of your spreadsheet if though you wanted it to appear on the left hand side of your spreadsheet you would click over here in the left box if you wanted it to be on the right hand side you would click on the right hand side over here if you click outside of your add a header then it takes you out of that if you click in add a header again you're back in the spot where you started now let's say you didn't want to add a header you wanted to add a footer if you notice up here we're looking in something called the design view that's the design view of just your header and footer you can see that it has an option of go to footer so you can click on that and that takes you to the very bottom of your spreadsheet and it acts the same way as entering a header you can type something in this section for it to be centered this section to be on the left side and this section to be the, on the right side something else that also exists though that's extremely helpful is up here at the top where it says page number if you wanted the page number to appear as a footer in every single page you would just click on this and it adds a code here which will then figure out what page you're on and it'll display that information here if you wanted the current date for some reason to also appear you would click on that current date or if you wanted the date to appear as a header you would click on header up here first click out go up to add a header we can go to the right hand side and we can add the current date there so we have something appearing as a header and something appearing as a footer now you can see that this isn't the normal view that you normally see Excel to be in that's because on this bottom right hand side you have some options here you can have what the normal page layout looks like what page layout looks like and that's what we're in right now or we can have a page break preview this page layout option which we're in right now allows you to do various things like change the margins put in headers and footers etc but when you want to get back to your normal spreadsheet just click on this normal view and it takes you back over here now if you click on the file button and you go down to print you can see that you have your header up here which shows the current date and you have the page number down here so it shows that your header and footer are working we'll click on the back button so that's one way to insert a header and a footer that's also the way that you get help in Excel another way to insert the header or footer is now that you know what these three buttons down here at the bottom do you can go directly to the page layout button instead of typing in that you want to do a header and footer when you go to the page layout you remember that headers are up here you just click in this box up here and it takes you to the header you can go over to the header that you added and you can um, delete that you can click on the design you can add the file name to this you can go down to the footer and you can change that you can add anything that you want and remember to get out you go back to the normal view down here at the bottom 
In order to get to the normal view though, you have to get out of your footer first, then click on the normal view, and it takes you back to your spreadsheet. Now a third way to add a header or footer is to also just click on File, go down to Print, and down over here where we have Page Setup, when you click on that, these are also additional options that you can um, go to to change how your uh, spreadsheet works when you print it. You can change the orientation, and again you can change this other ways in Excel. You can also change the margin, and here is the header footer that we're talking about. So up here is the header section. If you wanted to come up with a custom header, you would click on this. And now we have all these options up here. If you wanted something in the left section, like your last name, you could put that in there. You can see that we're going to have the name of the file displayed over here. If we wanted something different, like let's say the page number in the center, if you click on actually don't even click if you just hover over these options up here at the top they give you all those ones that we reviewed before where you can insert different things we can insert the page number and put that in the center if you wanted and click OK and click OK again and now you can see that it added your last name it also added the page number up here in addition to what was there already so those are the three different ways that you can add a header and footer into Excel using 2019. Again, it's through Help or through this Page Layout button here at the bottom or File, Print, and Page Setup down here.